Hello everyone, welcome back to Yorkshire Gamer and this is the fourth part of the Build the Bismarck series and uh, this is where we left off last time. The uh, base has been painted and the ship has been fully constructed and as you can see here I have taken everything apart Nothing is uh, glued down onto uh, the deck, etc. And then I've got my little box of uh, Bismarck bits there. So the next stage that we're going to do is priming, uh, get everything ready uh, for painting. And uh, I'm going to use an airbrush. You could use a uh, rattle can, um, or but I would I would avoid using a, a brush brush because you're going to leave no matter how careful you are you're going to leave brush marks behind and we really don't want that. Uh, for the techniques that we're going to use on here because when you come to do weathering etc the tiny tiny um, undulations in your painting will attract the uh, the weathering uh, washes etc so we're going to put the big bit to one side for now and um, this is uh, what I'm going to use to uh, assist in the uh, process and just so we get a bit of focus in, there we go. It's called a clout nail. And I think that must be because you clout it really hard because it's got a huge head on it, the size of that. And um, these are the actual nails I'm using from, from Wix. And um, it's got the size there in French money, um, which suspiciously looks like it translate into uh, glorious imperial. Uh, but you get what I mean, you want a big nail with a big head. And uh, some blue tack. So I'm just sticking blue tack on the end there, as you can see. Not particularly in focus, but I, £300 this camera. Well, more than that. And uh, we just won't focus. So uh, what we're going to do with these is uh, we're going to pick some bits. Well, we're going to get all of the bits out of our box and uh, oh, that bit falls off there and simply push them gently down without damaging any of the parts we've already glued on and we've got a perfect holding stand there for uh, our spraying because uh, we're going to be doing quite a lot of spraying uh, coming up and then once I've done that I um, put a little hole in the box for the nail and I've got a perfect stand so um, I've got uh, loads of these as you can imagine uh, so I am going to fit all those to the top of here and then I'll be back so a little bit shaky cam on this one I'm afraid uh, but I can't fit it in otherwise so here is all the stuff for the Bismarck we are all uh, set up on the nails and ready to go you can see the ship's boats there uh, oh, one's fallen off uh, turrets bits of superstructure etc big bit of superstructure in the middle uh, so, it's time to fire the airbrush up, sorry Alex, and uh, get going and get this lot primed, as well as that bad boy. So, for the uh, primer, I'm going to use uh, airbrush, and I'm going to use this stuff, which is Surface Primer from Vallejo. Uh, I find this very good with an airbrush, and uh, very good coverage. Um, very good flow, uh, absolutely perfect. And uh, then my airbrush, I have a uh, quite expensive one. It's a uh, Renegade Chrome uh, Badger, very, very nice. Um, I just happened to uh, come across a special offer for it and uh, bought it. Not a lot of people, some people don't get on with uh, airbrushes, I know, and the you know they're expensive an alternative to this would be to use a rattle can you know you'd be spray um uh, matte black from uh, holfords in the uk or any of the other car manufacturer paints um but what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a very even coverage here so i wouldn't recommend brush on uh certainly for for this and this size um but uh i've it took me a while to get into using a airbrush and um, just through various 
experiments and um, making sure that I'm using stuff like this proper airbrush cleaner and um, this especially airbrush flow improver a lot of faffing about but for for this for ships for big ships especially it's uh, absolute godsend uh, so i've fired it up i've got my compressor down there i'm set to about 16 17 psi relatively low uh, i'm just going to load up the airbrush and uh, what i'm going to do is i always put a little bit of um airflow improver in first just to get stuff coming out of the um, airbrush quick check on it make sure we've got stuff coming out down we have so that's grand and then surface primer give it a good shake and put a few drops in there reasonable amount because I've got quite a lot of stuff to uh, to uh, do and then airbrush improver airflow improver or thinner you can use i put about six drops in for for that amount that i've put in and then i use an old uh, nail uh, just to mix that in and make sure we have got a reasonable uh consistency people say um a bit like uh off uh sorry what do they say uh milk a bit like milk um so uh what have we got here well, i can show you this on um i'll just tip the camera forward a little bit so i'm just trying it on there we can see we're getting a decent flow of black from it so i'm just going to go and uh, grab hold of a uh, big bit of the bismarck and uh, literally just start covering it in primer and need to make sure that we are relatively thin with this coat so um, i'll do two or three goes over it because what I want to do is I want to get full coverage and I don't want to lose any of the um, detail on these particular parts, especially with the uh, wooden decks, because as we'll see later on, when we come to paint the decks, um, the detail on the model itself um, very much lends itself to the techniques of, of washing, etc that we are going to use later on in the painting stage of the model. So I'm pretty sure that you lot don't want to uh, sit there for an hour and uh, watch me uh, prime all of the Bismarck. So I'm just going to turn the camera off now. I'll come back and have a little chat as I do some of the uh, stuff on the nails that you saw me doing uh, previously um, but uh, there we go we are on with prime in the Bismarck so here we are with the the nails that we we had um, previously and uh, if I just grab one of the turrets again all I'm going to do is um, just spray around that with the primer all angles just to make sure that it's completely covered and you can see how useful how helpful it was to have that already uh, stuck on that nail and uh, makes life a lot easier when it comes to uh, priming all the rest of the stuff so i'll crack on with that and i'll see you in a bit So there we go with a bit of shaky cam. Uh, we are finished with the priming of the Bismarck. All the bits are done black. I'm going to leave that to uh, dry. And if we just lift up above there, we can see the 
uh, hull of the ship on the sea base all ready to go and to start the painting process uh, so that's what I'm going to do next and um, I am going to use this as part of the analog hobbies winter paint challenge so I'm not allowed to start on the painting until 21st of December so this is just going to go to one side for a few days and uh, we'll get cracking on it then and uh, next up I'm just going to show you the base coating and the masking of the camo scheme so we'll see you again soon